there is a an upside to all of this massive control and uh, subliminal programming that we're seeing by mass media and so forth. And it is drawing the right kind of people to you. Like I'm yes. finding the granted I am not resonating with a lot of people right now because they want me to get jabbed and they don't believe in human rights. I have become a magnet because I'm more open, perhaps more vocal. But I think this is something that a lot of people are experiencing for other people that are not uh, geared towards the mainstream narrative and not these momos. And as a result, on these dating apps, I'm finding, for instance, that uh, I somehow end up uh, attracting all of these anti-waxers, even though I don't openly say it because, you know, I've been shut down by being too open, outspoken about my disdain of what's going on, you know? Got to be careful with that stuff. But yeah, you find the right kind of people being drawn to you. And there are so many women right now that, you know, they, they want some anti, they want some... Uh, some don't say it, don't, don't say it, please. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't going to go, I'm glad you stopped me there. But you know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> Fundamentally, they don't want that. I actually met a girl. Um, might be interesting to mention that, that had on a profile that look, um, if you've taken the jab, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm still trying to get over the fact, the fact that you've got to put on your profile that you're 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 vaccinated. I mean, come on, it's really it's just where we are. Now. Oh, it's it's become a thing. I mean, I've I've swiped around various countries, and some countries, you know, are not that bad. <laughs> if you're in Australia, uh, I am telling you, man, like it's hardcore. I mean, it reached the point where I would say. More than 50, 60 percent of people in their propa had their their status, their vaccination status. And uh, we, we've seen a, a move away from that over the last few months, you know, since since this campaign has stopped. But for by large in part, a lot of people, if they do, even if these this is the fascinating things, when these apps stop requiring this kind of stuff in the same way that um, masks weren't entirely mandatory, uh, people will just continue wearing these masks. We, we started seeing people, regardless of whether or not it's even an option on these dating apps to state your vaccine status and so forth, just listing it, saying that I'm on jab, saying X and Y, because they want to distinguish themselves, because they want, because they, it's become the social norm now. So you just have to get things rolling and then every, everything sticks. But the point I wanted to make is that you do find that you track the right kind of people to you. And I, I worries, um, I think women tend to do it more because they tend to have more options. Uh, yes, I've been seeing so many women. Yeah, just stay openly. Look, I don't want to be around you if you've taken the jab, it's, it's, it's so forth. And I'm like, pow, like my chances improve like 99% in those instances. So you just got to find your tribe. I mean, the reality of the situation, as much as I hate to say it, we're not going to get along with everyone in this world. If you're going to be open and honest about it, there are some people that you are going to be repulsed by because they have values that are, are just not in line with you. Um, I personally don't like the idea of being forced to take something that I don't want to put in my body. I mean, not long ago, you would call those people rapists, you know? But now we've been made to think that it's acceptable and we should all, we're all in this together. Government-sponsored rape, rape is quite fine. Is there, There's nothing wrong with that. Government-sponsored rape is, 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 all, is... Yeah, that's the thing, you know? And it's those people that are very much um, for, forcing you to undergo these th this kind of treatment are the same people that, are, you know, in another way are telling you that we need to be in this together. Like, you have a look at the things that Trudeau has been saying presenting this idea that we're all working cohesively when his very um, government legislations are designed to separate people, to prevent people from gaining access to um, certain businesses, leaving the country, unless, of course, they've taken a shaft. That, by nature, is, is, is divisive. But, of course, he's perpetuating this notion that we're all Canadians here and we need to, uh, we need to disregard those that are standing up for their rights.